tra traverse the Hilo and all those different operations. It lands right in the middle there and they hook it in, all that fancy stuff. And then over here we have the hangar where we store the Hilo. There's someone always standing watch up here to make sure that no one that's not supposed to be coming on the boat is coming on the boat. So here on the melon we have a lot of ladder bays, essentially on pretty much any boat. And that's why we can't have a bunch of fat people in the Coast Guard because they won't fit down the ladder with the mess deck where everyone eats three meals a day and sometimes we're underway where we have mid -rats. So this is the Coast Guard Center and we have the Coast Guard We have four ovens. This one down here doesn't work. Every little is pretty nice. I don't know, a lot of stuff breaks all the time in the galley and we always have to get stuff up there. Like check this out over here. Our drawers are really crappy sometimes. We've had them fixed up once already, but lots of things break in the galley. And it's just like you kind of being a CS, you have to learn how to work with it and evolve and, I don't know, be flexible with your situations. We are going to go to the engine room, which is very greasy and very steep steps if you want to go up. I have fallen down these steps during a security round when I was here as a mom right before, so that was fun. So usually during the imports they take everything apart and fix everything up. systems that basically run the ship. Very interesting. A lot of stuff. Now I'm just a cook so I don't know how all that stuff works but yeah I think all the uh, engineering folk have to know a lot of information. done in here. <laughs> the order where all the officers eat their meals. You want something that before you go home? Now this is the fancy. They have very comfortable chairs. I'm so jealous. But this is where we have all our royal committee meetings and all the meetings in general. Like a lot of them right here. about what it's like being a chief? Yes, being a chief, it takes a lot of responsibility. You're watching over your crew, you're taking care of your crew, and you're placing your crew as number one. Um, it takes a lot of uh, uh, time and dedication to get to being a chief, and once you're there, it's a huge, uh, it's a huge privilege to be a chief. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I'm going to have to go to the bridge. <laughs> All right, after three flights of stairs. Uh. Wow, I have a lot of lighting in here, so good. So this is a little bridge, how this works is. Basically, you stand here. When you're an on right, one of your jobs is to steer the ship, so somebody else will tell you directions, and you will move this thingy mabobber. It's called a helm, by the way. Wherever. <laughs> Um, the last few patrols we've been on, we went to Japan, which I have videos posted on that if you want to check it out. We went to Tahiti and Fiji, and we go to Alaska a lot, so that's always fun. I'll just keep 
keep taking videos wherever I go, and you can check those out on my channel. And out here, beautiful weather today. We have this beautiful ocean view. If you're in the Coast Guard, we're always going to be near the ocean. And this boat may seem really big and confusing, but once you've been here for a while, it's not that hard to um, learn your surroundings and figure out where to go. So if you're going to your first station and it's a boat, go figure it out. Don't, no worries. There's people there to help you out along the way. And if you have any questions about boat life, you can comment below and I will answer, probably. Commanding officer's lair. Let's take a look around. Got a visitor's stateroom. A big table, these nice comfy chairs. Alright, this is a high endurance cutter. We are 378 feet long, okay? Not inches. And uh, we go out typically for three months at a time. Um, it's really hard for people with families, obviously, because you don't get to see them for a long time, but there are systems in place to be able to communicate with them. We have uh, email, which you can email straight to their um, phone and things like that. And then of course when you go to different places you can send them mail. Or if it's an emergency, we have a, what is it, like a, a solar powered, not solar powered, what's this? So we have a satellite phone for emergencies um, if you ever need to contact your family back home. Too. Cool. Done. That will conclude this video. Thanks guys for watching. Thumbs up for more and don't forget to ask questions if you have any.